Welcome to the Importing Variables tutorial. This tutorial is designed to give you an overview of how to begin to work with variables in A to J Author. As a side note, it is not entirely necessary that you begin your document assembly project in HotDocs. However, if you do not begin your project in HotDocs, you will not have variables which you would have otherwise created in HotDocs to then import and access in A to J Author. In other words, if you do not start your project in HotDocs, you will then have to create your variables on the fly in A to J Author, which is simple enough to do, and that is something that we will cover in the tutorial. Before we get into the meat of this tutorial, we're going to go over a couple of points regarding the effect of variable names in document assembly. In order for data collected in an A to J guided interview to properly assemble in a hot docs template on the server, the variables used to collect data in the A to J guided interview must be perfectly consistent with those variables used as the corresponding placeholders in a hot docs template. For instance, if in your A to J guided interview you use the variable client first name TE to collect the interviewee's first name, then you must use that exact variable everywhere in your hot docs template where you want to represent the value collected by that variable in the A to J guided interview. While coordinating the use of variable names may seem like a simple task, there are a couple of things you should keep in mind. First, typos do happen and any inconsistency will render the variable invalid and the data collected useless. Secondly, using a standard variable naming convention for naming your variables will not only help you avoid typos but will possibly aid you in future projects. How is that possible? Well, to the extent that others in the legal aid community begin using similar naming conventions, A to J guided interviews and hot docs templates will be more easily leveraged by others because less time will be spent updating variable names to accord with either a matching guided interview or template or possibly a case management system. Now on to the crux of this tutorial, importing variables. Should you start your document assembly project with creating a hot docs template, you can facilitate the subsequent design of your A to J guided interview by importing all of the variable names which you used in your corresponding hot docs template. Variables created in a hot docs template are saved in a component file. Thus, to import those variables into an A to J guided interview, you must remember, of course, where you saved that component file. To begin your A to J guided interview work and import the hot docs variable names, simply open the A to J author software select create a new interview and then select the variables tab on the menu to the left. You will notice a yellow folder icon at the bottom of the variables screen with a label to the left entitled load variables. This is where you will load the variables from your hot docs component file. Simply click on the icon and after doing so you will notice a browse menu appear. You will then search for or browse for your component file. Double click on the appropriate component file. After doing so you will notice that your variables table will be populated with the variable names from that component file. You can change or modify the attributes of any one particular variable by selecting it from the list with a double click. You will notice a variable window come up that allows you to modify the variable type. For instance, you can change a variable's type from text to true false or to multiple choice. Again, this must also be perfectly consistent with the type selected for that variable in your hot docs template. As an aside, the multiple values box is automatically checked by A to J author when the variable is used in a repeat dialog. Likewise, the used by box at the bottom of this screen is automatically populated with the names of questions where the variable has been used. Now that your variables are loaded, let's take a look at how we can put the variables to use. First, you'll want to select a question to design. Select the question tab from the menu on the left. Highlight the last question in the list of questions and select the add button below represented by a plus sign in a circle. Then double click on the question 
to get to the Question Design window and select the Fields tab. When you add a field, you will now be able to use the Variable drop-down menu to select a variable name. Note there may be times throughout the interview where you need to create A to J specific variables. In other words, variables that may not apply directly to the corresponding Hot Docs template, but that you need to collect in order to uh, do evaluations of some sort or uh, facilitate advanced scripting. You can easily create variables on the fly by simply typing the name of the variable in the variable field or by adding the variable to your variables table in the variable screen, which we looked at earlier. If you decide you'd like to start your project in A to J Author instead of uh, Hot Docs, and uh, after designing your A to J interview, you'd like to print up a list of all of the variables used so that you have that handy when designing your Hot Docs template, all you need to do is go to the Report tab on the left, and then from that screen, select Full Report. This report will generate a list of all the questions you designed, as well as a list of all of your variables, as you can see here. Uh, as I scroll through them. Um, you can save this document by uh, copying all the text, using, uh, clicking Control A, Control C for copy, open up Microsoft Word, Control, Control V for paste, and you have a complete list of all of your questions and all of your variables that you used in your A to J guided interview. That's it for uh, importing variables. If you have further questions, please consult a to jauthor.org.